Birds of Prey, the latest movie by DC to come out within the DC Cinematic Universe. I do not believe it to be the saving grace of DC. I think it's good, but not that good. It's okay. The, the movie's okay. I freaking love female-led action movies. If it's well written, if the script is good, I'll enjoy the shit out of any movie. But for me, Birds of Prey felt like they tried to copy Deadpool, but instead of put the years of love and care into this movie that the directors and writers and Ryan Reynolds did for Deadpool, they shut the script out in one fucking sitting and sucked out all the fucking love. And that's a fucking shame, because there was a lot of good here. Harley is one of my favorite characters. I love her, especially when she goes anti-hero, when she goes on her own, separated from the Joker. I think those are some of her best stories, but when you don't do anything good with that, the movie touted itself as an ensemble film. But it's barely an ensemble. The entire film is basically Harley telling the audience a story. So there are multiple moments where it stops and either backs up so we can get how the hell we got to X situation, or there is straight up a moment where the entire film grinds to a halt just to tell us the backstory of Huntress. No, that doesn't fucking work, in my opinion. Don't grind a movie to a complete stop just to give us a backstory for a character who's barely in the movie for more than 20 to 30 minutes. This movie isn't really an ensemble movie, despite how it's touted. So you have Harley as the main character, who most of the time she is with Cassandra Kane, And you have the stories of, I cannot remember, police detective lady? Sorry, if I remember your name, I'll throw it into the review. And uh, Black Canary. You, you have these two characters who are actually going through and they're kind of part of it. And then you just have Huntress who's there on the side. The Birds of Prey, the thing the name film is named after, don't even form up to the last like 20 to 30 minutes for a fight scene. And then that's it. Harley is no longer a part of it after that. So forgive me, I'm not 100% sure about the Birds of Prey in the comics, but I'm pretty freaking sure that Harley Quinn is a major freaking part of that. I could be very wrong. But, God. I think every actor in this movie is great. I, like, Margot Robbie's always a fucking joyous Harley Quinn. Uh, Mary Elizabeth Winstead, Huntress, she was a lot of fun when she was actually on screen and led to do shit, but other than that, she's barely on screen. I can't talk about Huntress that much. She's barely there. The girl, little girl that plays Cassandra Kane. Cassandra is one of my favorite characters in this entire movie, because she is, like... 10 year old who does not give a fuck what anyone says and it is amazing. Ewan McGregor plays the character that he is well but I have a problem with the black mask in this movie. He is a raging misogynist. Now it is not a bad thing to make the antagonist a misogynist but when you basically ruin the rest of his character to make him this? No! That's because I enjoy entertaining villains that kind of contribute shit to the plot, kind of. And not just contribute shit to the plot, but like, are entertaining to watch, which he's at first. <clears throat> there was a moment in this movie where he was taken that one fucking step too far that just made him almost irredeemable. He, he was basically made unredeemable to me. And like, I just, I hated his character from there. He basically, he has an outburst and this lady starts laughing and he thinks that she's laughing at him for whatever fucking reason, despite being all the way across the fucking bar and clearly in conversation with someone. She even starts to say that it's this guy is really funny. He embarrasses the shit out of her partially by cutting her goddamn dress off. The fuck? You don't need to make him a misogynist to make us not like the character. He's a dick. He's already bad enough as he is. He is a drug kingpin who's trying to kill a little girl because she has money that he wants. That's the only reason we need to not like this guy. He doesn't need to be a misogynist and it just, 
it got in the way of the rest of his character and it felt like that overshadowed it in the end. And maybe I, I'm weird, but I prefer well-rounded characters, even if they are the villain. Sorry, I didn't like the fact that he was a misogynistic dick. He started off as a lot of fun. He was greatly entertaining to watch. He was fun. And when really good villains become stereotypes, I dislike it because I love entertaining villains. What can I say? I like good writing. Overall, I thought this movie was a lot of fun, but it would probably be more fun if you were on substances? Either drunk or high? You know, maybe. I can't say that this is a bad movie, but it's not good either. The movie's just okay. If you're a really big fan of DC and you want to see this, or you're a fan of Harley, you'll probably enjoy this movie. As entertaining as certain parts are, the overall movie, it didn't feel like the love and care was put into it, at least I didn't feel that, so I thought the movie was just okay. Like I said, if you're a fan of Harley, or if you're a fan of the Birds of Prey, you might enjoy this movie. But for me, I don't think that I would go back and watch this over other DC properties. All of this leads this movie to, for me, rolling a 12. Not the best thing I've ever seen, but it's not the worst either, and overall just an okay film. But, I don't know, you might get a different experience than me, so if you want to see it, by all means, go ahead. I'm not going to stop you or try and persuade you in any way. Aside the fact that I just made a review bashing multiple elements of this film over and over and over. Yeah. But that's what I thought of the movie. Tell me what you guys thought in the comments down below. And if you'd like to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, links to those are going to be in the description. Subscribe if you feel so inclined to do so. And hope you have a great day, guys. And as always, peace out.